Good morning, Bombers. I'm Riley. And I'm Emma. Welcome to today's segment of Blue Bomber News. Today is Thursday, April 6th, day three. Attention students, if you pre-registered from Anethon, there are now permission slips outside B219. Please pick up and return your permission slip to B219 no later than Tuesday, April 11th. Minithon is Friday, April 14th, and you may not attend without your permission slip. Also, Minithon Spirit Wear is now on sale. The supplies are running out fast, so get to the cafeteria as soon as possible. There will be a meeting for Envirothon participants on Tuesday, April 11th during Enrichment B in the wood shop. If you need to switch your lunch, please make arrangements with your day four teacher. Seniors planning on a career in education may apply for a $1,500 scholarship from the Pomeranian Area Education Association, the Teachers Union. Please pick up your application from Mr. Falkenstein in B room B108. Now, let's hear our bombshell report with Jared Reinhardt. Quack, quack, quack. Awesome. All right. Okay, guys, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Let's see what you had to say. Uh, okay, P poll's not there, but I remember. Um, all right, 29 of you said that you'd rather fight the little horses. 32 of you said that you'd fight one big duck. That's tough stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I think, but let's see your comments. This person says, it is my nightmare to have 100 little horses crawling up my body. And I agree. They'd be like tiny rats, but with hooves. And then this one, <laughs> this one says, those little gremlins can't hurt me. And I, I'm pretty sure they could. Uh, and then lastly, this one says, uh, <laughs> the duck would bother me about grapes, which it may. All right. Um, okay. Uh, that's it for this week. I know you guys are seeing me a day early, but we don't have school tomorrow. So have a nice break, and then I will see you after the holiday. Deuces, P-Town. Love you all. Preparations for the spring chess tournament are underway. The game club will hold its monthly meeting today. Please see Mrs. Doherty for information on signing up and tournament ranking. All of the local scholarships are now available. The information is posted in Schoology and on the guidance page of the high school website. You can see the listings of the scholarships, the criteria, and the links to the applications. Hard copies of the applications are also available in the guidance office. Deadline to apply for all of these scholarships is Friday, April 14th at 2.30 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. McHugh. Remember, you don't have any chance of getting these scholarships if you do not apply. Pomerton Against Animal Cruelty will be holding their annual blanket, towel, and pet supply drive during the month of April. Students are encouraged to bring in used blankets, towels, cleaning supplies, and other pet supplies. Stains and rips are okay, as these items will be used as bedding for pets in need. Help out a local shelter and bring your donations into your Block 2 class today. Our next scholastic scrimmage practice is Tuesday, April 11th, during Enrichment A in B241. Please respond to Schoology ASAP prior to this practice. And now let's take a look at the weather with the Codester. Good morning, Bombers. Today we are looking at an absolute steamer. Gentle precipitation with the highest 77 degrees. Going into break then, we'll be looking at some temperatures in the mid to upper 50s with mostly cloudy conditions. That's all for today. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Cody. For lunch today, the cafeteria is serving baked ham with a dinner roll with baked sweet potatoes and vanilla pudding parfait. Mm -mm -mm. Athletics for today. Tennis is away versus Lehighton at 3.30. Happy birthday to Peyton Fornano, Evan Gastoni, TJ Taglieri, and Bryce Tashler. Happy weekend birthdays to Josh Rahachik, Gavin Young, Sarah Sabo, and Jackson Stein. Today's celebrity birthdays are Peyton Liss, Paul Rude, and Julie Ertz. Today in history, the U.S. entered World War I in 1917, and the first modern Olympic Games opened in 1896. Thanks for watching. See you on Tuesday. Enjoy your break, Bombers.